What's up guys? Uh, as you can see here, I've got some cleaning I need to do in my greenhouse as well as repairs. I just fixed this vent. ish it's still not perfect uh as i've said before this is a greenhouse from harbor freight and it was fairly inexpensive uh, my dad put it up for me and he built all these shelves for me and overall it works really good for the money absolutely cannot complain but i'm up on a hill and when the wind picks up Every now and then these panels will billow and if it's really windy they'll just blow right out. So as you can see I'm missing one right here and here I'm missing one but I actually kind of like this because it provides a little bit of shade. I don't have a shade cloth and so so uh, it's really not too bad. I have the panel for that. Uh, it's a pretty rough shape. It went for a ride. So I don't know if I'm going to replace it right there. I've got the one from here back behind, so I might use it. I think I'm just going to hold off for now. But I am going to try to pick this up a little bit. And I was actually considering starting some seeds out here today. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll put that in after all because I don't want it to get too cold in here. Blitz is here helping me out, so I'll get it started here. These are the little clips that hold the panels in, and I find them everywhere. And so I just pop them back in when I find them into any of them that look like they need a little extra reinforcement. This is the other bit of damage that that windstorm did. It is blow out an entire wall on my garage, which I was planning to tear off anyway, but not just yet, because obviously I still have a bunch of junk in there. I did start tearing off on the south side here. I started tearing this the last time it was nice out. And, uh, I don't know, if there's more wind able to blow through. This was my other little project I need to finish up. This is my catio, and I need to finish it because they can get out right there at that seam. So I need to build it up around the entire window um, to actually contain the cats. <laughs> this, is, this is me wife. Okay? <laughs> I was picking up trash. My back hurts. Can you go relax? Or is this you relaxing? Uh, I just kind of laid the first spot that I found. So. Writing that you can. Yeah, that's what I was going for. All right. Would you be willing to help me though? Go, come help, Mama. It's, she's already stepped on me. Baby, you go see the babies. You go record the babies. Come on. Let's see the babies. Aww. Look at them, babies. Hi, babies. Aww, Belle loves the babies. Look so how he's sleeping. Sophie, because they're sleepy and cranky. What do you think, Sophie? You go, Mama. Yeah.
So I decided to go ahead and put that panel in, even though it's kind of in rough shape. And I remembered that's the one that we had like super duper reinforced. And you can tell obviously our re reinforcements failed, but we had some outdoor tape and silicone and everything. And that's probably why it's in such rough shape because it really had to fight to get out of there. But it's back in now. So if I wanted to start seeds in here, I could, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that yet today. So right now I could be planting peas and radishes and probably some spinach too but i'm not sure about the soil if it's dried out enough yet and i really haven't messed up my garden dirt too much yet so i think i'm gonna kind of scope it out and see what all i got had a few turnips and uh rutabagas still in the garden from last fall. So I've been kind of curious on how all of our herbs and stuff in the raised beds was gonna do and it kind of looks like maybe the cilantro is coming back already it was crazy last year just we had tons of it and it's looking like it's greening up pretty good so I don't think I need to worry about planting any more cilantro I'm curious about the dill because it was just going bananas last year so I would imagine we've got more dill than we know what to do with as well. What are you doing, Chicky Chicky? What are you doing, Chicky Chicky? Chick Chick Chick. So, kind right, of looking in here. I see some growth, but I can't be 100% sure of what it is just yet. Get all this dead matter kind of cleared out here. But I would imagine with as crazy prolific as this was last year, we shouldn't have any problems. The other thing we had in this bed was uh, get a little bit of basil in here too. And so I'm curious if it'll come back, but I think that the dill will probably take it over if they actually do both come back. I definitely need my snippers. I brought some big ones out here. Oh, there's Luna. Where have you been, little lady? Huh? Where have you been? Yeah, you're naughty. You're naughty. You keep taking off, naughty girl. Yeah, you've been gallivanting around the countryside. Yeah, you kind of stink. Kind of stink like a skunk. You been with the skunk? Oh, she got a bug on her, but not a tick. I've been waiting. We'll be getting into tick season here pretty soon. Little Luna Tuna. Ooh. I'd say those got some water in them. Might have to oil those. They were even in the greenhouse, so that tells you something about the greenhouse. Those are my Brussels sprouts from last year and some kale, so they definitely need to be cut out. Woo! That is stronger than it looks. It's like cutting a tree down.
funny, it still has that Brussels sprout smell. Down here, I have uh, some remnants of the fall garden. This is more kale. And that looks like, well, hi, Buddha. Looks like some new growth. So it's actually really good. I think what I'll do is just uh, pull back some of this dead, dead stuff. And just let this go again. Yeah, that looks very healthy. Just eating kale with my chicken. No big deal. This is where we had some potatoes last year. Sweet potatoes. And melon, I don't remember. But it's kind of a mess. Not at all. Oh, there's some worms. That's a good sign. Definitely a good sign. There you go, buddy. I my blackberry here. I probably need to trim it back a little bit. Not really sure how that works, but it's definitely going creep. So I'm definitely going to trim it back. Just not really sure when I'm supposed to do that. Probably not now. I will do some research. There! Kind of hard to see. There's a little bit of lily. What you got, Sissy? You can see these beds are basically non existent. I didn't plant anything there in the fall. And these are just always in rough shape. Holy cow. So, uh, it's the next day. Um, my battery died yesterday, so it's just a weekend video. But what I originally came out here to show you was uh, we got some more birds, of course. So those are uh, turkins. We got turkins last year and uh, we lost them. We lost the last one uh, in that hard cold. And then some guineas. So we've only got one guinea right now. And then we got, uh, what do we end up with? Four uh, little Keats, I believe is what young guineas are called. And the turkeys are still looking good. What's up guys? But what I came out here to get was my screen because we're gonna put that back up because it's actually nice outside, even though it is just windy, like insane. I haven't even been outside, so I can't attest to that. But Melissa says it's really nice and is trying to convince me to go outside, but I hate the wind, so I'm gonna work on putting the screen up. All right, you can probably see this, but this damn door 
kept blowing open because it's a piece of junk. This whole front porch is really cool, but it's a piece of junk. So I have done some redneck re-engineering and I have several pieces of wood holding this door shut so I can put my baby chicks back out here because I do not want this door flying open while they're out here. It, it was already a disaster and it would be even worse if that happened. All right, you guys got to see this. Got a dirty bum. You got a dirty bum? Yeah. So we have a house chicken. The house chicken is dirty, so he has to have a bath, but he actually likes the bath. Now, why is he a house chicken? You got to explain. Give this some context. We don't just randomly bring birds in. Well, unless they're like oh, really goodness. sick. Yeah, so oh, he was kind of sickly. So the, he got frostbite on his foot. There we see. go. Yep. And he just doesn't, he just can't stand up. And so then we brought him in. Well, then his other leg, his foot fell off because yeah. of the chicken. Literally just came off. Yeah. So it's just because yeah. he's. He's a house chicken. He can't. And he likes baths. He can't. He can walk while we have his nubbin, but not very well. Yeah. How does it look after you took the bandage off? Uh, it was getting kind of yucky. bloody. Yeah. yeah, getting yucky. But the like nub looks clean. Yeah, it was right? just well, just bleeding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It actually looks yeah. healthy. You know, it doesn't look infected or anything. Mm -mm. We think see. Max. That's why we're. We think Max is a rooster. We think, but not. I'm not a hundred percent. He's yeah. so funny. He hasn't really talked much. No. He just watches us. He hangs out. He had lice. No. Since he can't really, like, dust bathe himself very well, he got lice. I think pretty well got taken care of. Yep. <laughs> this is the best part. So. Make sure it's room temperature. They are my babies. I love every one of them. <laughs> he's so tall and he's kind of shivering there. Yeah, he's shivering. So baby. But you'll get him all wrapped up. <laughs> See, he just, he's just chilling. Nah, yeah, you are so silly. I just got in from doing chores. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys know, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, on our Facebook page, because we do hop on there every now and then. We'll just get on live just for the heck of it. So uh, if you want to see more of those baby goats, uh, make sure you get on our Facebook page. And uh, there's a good video of us just playing with the goats yesterday. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. But I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.